What is a random variable? A random variable is neither random nor a variable. It's pretty common consensus that a random variable title is a misnomer. Here's some proof. Function, events, experiment. Random variable is neither random nor variable. It's a mapping of events. The term is a bit odd. This is actually a rule for assigning values to outcomes. The use of the words random and variable is unfortunate because their use cannot be justified. The term random variable is a misnomer. It makes a real number correspond to each outcome of the experiment. And that's what's important. Signs of value to an outcome. It describes numerically the outcome from an experiment. We saw some keywords pop up numerous times in there. Let's cover them. A random variable is really just a function. What do functions do? Will they assign or map? an output to a corresponding input. And that's what a random variable is. Let's look at each one of these words and break it down. So the events that we're looking at are the actual outcomes of the experiment. For example, heads or tails, rains tomorrow, cloudy tomorrow. It doesn't have to necessarily be binary. So in this experiment, each single die face is an outcome. Now we could define an event as faces that have an even value. So a two, four, or a six. In that case, our event would contain three possible outcomes, a two, a four, or a six. We could also define an event in which the face value is one, in which case it would be an elementary event because there's only one outcome in which the face is one. And that is when you roll a one. The event that contains all possible outcomes is called sample space. And we're used to hearing that the probability of the sample space occurring is one because one of these events, one of these outcomes must the occur. The key is that we can define the event however we want, whatever we're interested in. If we're interested in knowing even versus odd, that's what we would define the event as. If we're interested in the actual face value itself, we would do an elementary event. We could do an event in which the face value is less than three, in which case it would be just these two, a one or a two is less than three. Now let's look at what it means to assign. Another word for assign could be maps, charts, or translates. And this is the act of taking an event, taking a face value of four and translating it into an actual number. So we take in some cases, a qualitative event and turn it into a quantitative value. So a qualitative event could be you flip a coin and you get a heads. Well, that's a word and we want to translate it into an actual number that we can do math with. So let's call a heads one and a tails zero. And this arrow captures the assignment. It can be quantitative as well. So for example, temperature, which is measured as a number. Well, we take that temperature and we map it to a real number line. It's a one-to-one -one translation. We're not doing any kind of transformation on it. So we can transform a temperature into a real number on a number line. We're not gonna change the actual number itself, but it's still mapping it into the mathematical realm. So a natural extension of looking at the word assign is to look at the word numbers because we're assigning it to a value on the real number line. I don't think it technically has to be on the real number line, but in almost all our applications it will be. So, so for every assignment, we're gonna take it. So when we have a sample space here and there's two possible outcomes, 
or events, a heads and a tails, we're gonna map each one onto the real number line and give it a value. This could be 199, it doesn't matter, right? We're just giving it a number, a representation, so that we can do math on it because we can't do math on words. So in our dice example, we're gonna take each face that comes up and map it onto the real number line. These arrows are the assignment operator, and these values are the numbers that we've assigned to each outcome. Again, we're transforming some word or some result into a number. That's all we're doing. Now, a key piece of notation for the numbers is these numbers are called the realization or the random variant. So one is the realization of flipping a heads. A six is the realization of rolling a die where a six comes up on top. 93.45 was the realization of the temperature tomorrow being 93.45 degrees. Finally, let's look at what it means to be a function. 